Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. We're in war. In lol. Last Outlaws. Uh, we're doing a simple mirror strategy. Thus far, it looks pretty difficult. Kim Stursky, of course, went on number one. And got 66%, two stars. I went ahead and I looked earlier, and mine looks interesting. I am ranked 5th, so I'm going to be going on Chief Eaglehorn. Let's find him on the map here. Uh, and he's my recommended target. It's a different base. I'm actually I'm fairly nervous slash excited to, to see how this plays out. Uh, so he's a 156 global, which is surprisingly low. Um... But the plan is, being that we've got the Forbidden City to take into account, uh, we will be going with a double drop. We're going with one there, one there. So those are my two drop points. Uh, the purpose there is that I'm going to be going with my, probably my Mercs. Mercs and Generals and Donated Troops are going to be going there. My primary army is going to go there. Um... Likely, I'm going to do... See, I'm thinking I'll probably just do one sabotage right there. Um, not even. Probably do one sabotage right there in order to get this kind of chunk of buildings. Uh, the rally point is actually going to be, I believe, right back here. Uh, I do want to save my other sabotage in order to get, hopefully, this. Uh, my planes are upgrading, so I'm going to try and hang on to those as best as I can. I've got a decoy as well, uh, so I'm hoping that I can actually eliminate both of these before dropping that decoy, which should be helpful. Um, but I do perceive that will give us the quick victory. My rally point should probably be right in there, actually. Now that we talk about it. Thanks for talking that through with me. I appreciate it, guys. All right. I am just getting over a bit of a cold here, so if you hear me sniffing, please do uh, accept my apology. General's train. Let's deactivate you guys. Guy. And then we want to go with... Joan and I think we'll go with Joan and Napoleon. My two fat ones. The fatties. Alright. And I do have the Red Baron. Uh, and my, you can see that I now have three howitzers. So we're up to ten. Which is good. That makes me happy. Alright. I just want to double check there. Let's see how we can get on. So, like I said, we want to go with, um, <sighs> let's go Mercs, Mercs, Generals, General, Donated Troops, Sabotage that. Take that. And then up here, we'll go with that and that and that and those. And the rest of those guys. Oh no! We're going to take that. Uh, let's see if we can get this Blitzkrieg down there. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, are we going to get that? 
We there in time? There we go. That is a very interesting looking base. I am not sure how that's going to play out. Are we going to have enough time here, folks? There we go. Don't die! Don't die! Um, I would rather... We should be able to make our way through here, I think. As long as my planes don't get silly, I think we'll be okay. That certainly is a very, very interesting base. That was hard to get that quick victory on. I like that. That's neato. And that was certainly very, very sloppy as well. Uh, is there anything else that I've missed? I don't think so. There we go. Certainly sacrifices or had some heavy, heavy losses. Uh, potentially as a result of that split drop, but I'm not sure. Uh, happy to have had both of my betrayals available. His resistance was high. Um, and I'm not sure what happened to my healing trucks. <laughs> they seem to have uh, bit the dust quite early, which obviously does impact it as well. But there we have it. There's my five stars for war. And I managed to save all three of my planes. 12 days is a long time to go without planes, you know that? Uh, let's see if we can retrain here. Short a couple of trade goods, but that's all right. Uh, all right, thank you very much for tuning in. Oh, oh, and as always, well, not as always, this time of the year, it's Merry Christmas. Keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time.